And Sergio Yule, Brazil counter with Taylor, Hedsheimer, Venezuela, Garcia, and Neto. Remember, points difference can be an important determinant in placing, so Brazilians have to play every possession right down to the end of this one. Still plenty of time to get back in it. Rodriguez to Yule. Off the mark. Taylor Cohen's calls horns set. This brings Hetschheimer and Berejao away from the basket. Great defense by Yule. Hetschheimer to Neto. Neto rises, and he just felt the presence of Ibaka. He sure did. He wasn't sure, quite sure what to do there. Between the pass to Berejao and the look for himself. Benajau forces Gasol to come out of the post and screen. Now a double team between Benajau and Garcia. And John, this drives you crazy as a coach. Perfect coverage on the weak side. We saw both of Well, Neto and Taylor come up. They had both those passive hits cut off. That would have been an interception. You don't need to go down and use your hands. It's a really cheap foul. Garcia bails out Sergio Yul. Taylor. Yule on the sideline. Yule with a flush. Powerful move. Nice. Hesitation fake. Gather. They just went up with both hands and threw it down. Shouts of Yule resound through the arena. Better Zhao squares up against Mark Gasol. His baseline jumper up and good. Better Zhao shows a nice touch. Several shots from the perimeter, mid-range distance. Just played a nice shooting touch. He has six points. Neto now guarding Rodriguez. Fernandez trying to shake free of Garcia. Mark Gasol to Sergio Baca, who finishes. Barrichello, terrific bounce pass to Neto. Pretty basketball by the Brazilians for two. Nice ball movement. Cut back door by Neto. An offensive foul called, and that's the presence of Neto. Showing good hard nosed D. Well, you know what, Liam? I noticed on the play before that, where uh, Rodrigo is also using his. Trying to clear some space. Neto's been all. We see he clearly. You see it on this play, nice touch pass by Gasol, another assist for Spain. Smiles all around amongst the Spanish fans. Lead by 19. Taylor inside out dribble. This baseline jump shot, no good. Ibaka with the rebound. If you're Brazil, and you're trailing, John, you need hustle plays, you need offensive rebounds and putbacks to try and manufacture points. Shama called for a Block in the low post. Michael so so talented. To the basket, spin either direction, use either hand. Spread the pass as well. Marshall check in for Brazil, the 39-year-old. Some three-point shooting ability on the floor now. The FIBA America's League MVP. Past year, Magnano wants to change those defensive assignments. He wants Machado on Yule and Garcia on Navarro. This is a tough matchup for, for Machado. Navarro's very quick. Gasol down to Ibaka. Ibaka into Hetzheimer and rises. And that shot him with two quick fouls in the low post. Pau Gasol getting the rest. There's no need really at this stage, John, to bring him back too soon. 24.7 rebounds in 25 minutes of work. In fact, a shot up and good. 
averaged 15 points per game with the Oklahoma City Thunder this season. He's really working on his free throw shooting form. Neto with a burst of Pete pace. Shadow in the corner. He'll step back. That's a quick up release. Over Gasol. Very quick release off the dribble. Gasol was up on him. The dribble to the side. That's a tough shot. That's exactly why he's been brought in. Good hands by Neto. We just see some good defense. Solid defense. Active hands. Active feet. Rodriguez is a terrific guard, John. Quick. Good ball handling, but. Neto is equal to the task, whereas he struggled a bit, Neto did against Rubio. Buell turns the corner on a screen. He's back up. Goes out Venezuel. Has to step back. Good defense by Venezuel. Headshot to make sure it doesn't drop. Neto. Headshot. Let's see if they give Machado the ball. He needs some freeze. Get back in there. The foul on Rodriguez. As a point guard, you always want to think about who made the last basket. Is he getting a hot hand? Give him a little touch. The time running out for Brazil. Maybe some points on the board. That's up to Venezuela. He strolls down the lane. Tough shot. Defense by Marcus Saul. Navarro trying to shake free of Garcia. This pass intercepted now. Brazil have got numbers. And Yule with the foul. It's going to help by Hedgeheimer recognizing that pass. Got that enough to his hand in there. That's what Brazil need. They need stop after stop to score on this end. But the task becomes increasingly more difficult as the man of the match comes in, Paul Gasol, to replace Sergi Baca. Neto goes in deep. Marcus Saul. Cross court pass to Navarro. Rodriguez steps into an easy three for him. Good ball movement. Ball went from side to side. They found Rodriguez with a comfortable three point look at the basket. Back to 20 point difference. Let's see if Machado gets a chance here. Navarro right up on him. Zhao. This time he converts on Marcus Saul. Marcus Saul, we see again, he's stepping away. Bobby Zhao wants that contact. Almost loses control. He's able to finish the play. Once you get that contact, John, you know where your defender is, and then you can move him however you like. Exactly, and the defender cannot recover. Bobby Zhao. Hard nose defense against Calgasol. Rodriguez with the teardrop. Count it. Split the two defenders. Garcia's gonna go in, pow, and he missed. Gets his rebound this time. A more difficult shot, converts that one. Or he stayed with it, nice play by Garcia. I was expecting to see him go up and try and throw it down. We've seen him do that, he's so athletic. Chimer almost comes up with a steal. Marcus saw the power to saw. And the pass is just slightly out of reach for Sergio Yun. We see some good defensive possession by the Brazilian team. Just haven't had enough tonight. There is still time for Brazil to get back in it, but they need a sense of urgency. They trail by 18. The Spanish defense has been tough. Great defense, not locking down Machado. He's trying to get free of Yule. Yule has him buried on the sideline. Look at the ball. Yule with a steal, oh, it's a kick. Look at the ball pressure on the perimeter, far from the basket. If they can break that pressure, look who's waiting for him. You've got Paul Gasol, Marcus Gasol near the basket. That's a lot of height underneath there. Yeah, the perimeter players really can take some comfort knowing they've got a shot blocker behind them. 
If the Gasol brothers aren't there, you've got Ibaka. So there's a lot of shot blocking ability, a lot of height and length on the Spanish team. Well, Coach Ruben Manano wants to take a timeout for Brazil. The score 76 58, Spain in front of Brazil. He can throw it inside to Pau Gasol. Well, he's shown he can step outside as well. They look unbeatable. We talked about this before the game. The, um, if Spain is capable to hit those three point shots, they're so difficult to fan. They're going to spread the floor because you, you know what they can do inside. Remember, Spain have got a 5 and 0 oh win streak against Brazil in the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Close to stretching it to. 6 and 0. Oh. Brazil did beat Spain in 1986 when Spain last hosted the World Cup. Some zone defense from the Spanish. Good high low. Hedsheimer lost it. Great hands by the Spanish defenders. Garcia shot, no good. So. Good counter by Coach Aranga. How many times, John, do you see a, a team take a timeout in their offensive possession, set something up against man, and the opposition come out in zone D? Smart play. Mark Gasol to Pau Gasol. And he's unerring as ever is Pau Gasol, 26 points. He's in a total comfort zone this entire game. I've only seen him have a little bit of problems against Badajoz on the post. Other than that, they're still moving well. Closes on Machado. He just can't shake free. Hedsheimer shot, no good. I have to commend the Spanish on their on their defense because Machado just cannot find any space. Nobody can really can find any space. They're pressuring the ball and they're in hell position. They're it's a team effort. The defensive hand. Those Brazilian fans were ebullient and buoyant about 30 minutes ago. Not so much now. I think we're all surprised by this result. You and I were very much looking forward to this game today. We thought it would be a close contest. But Spain looked very, very good. Rodriguez got it. John Rodriguez was the last Spanish player to leave in the pregame shoot around. The last guy in the changing room got one of the volunteers to feed him basketballs and was shooting from the perimeter. Good to see his hard work rewarded. Taylor with the backdoor cut. And he has to alter his shot because of the defense of Rodriguez. Victor Clavert on the end of the bench. Hasn't got any minutes yet. Rodriguez is three. Alex Garcia. What a tough character. The wry smile from Garcia. And from Marcus All. He knows it. Garcia is tough as nails. A one on one game between Garcia and Sergio Yule would be fun to watch. I'd pay to see that. Oh, yeah. You see Garcia. Gasol gets the offensive foul. He used his hands to push off of Splitter's chest. Marks calling him out for flopping. Left spotted it. You see it here. Straight arm to the chest. Alex Abrinez checks in for Spain, the young player. Fantastic opportunity to play here in front of his home fans. Experienced Spanish lineup. Taylor pushes a pass to Benajau. And he's arguably been Brazil's best player tonight, John Benajau. I agree. With that assessment, he's pitched the team so many intangibles, and like I said earlier, he does so many things, positive things that don't show up in the stat sheet. There's 10 points are in the stat sheet now. 
Pogasol tries to give it to Pogasol. He couldn't get it. That pass behind Garcia. He spins in front of us. There's Machado finally in space. He missed. And Pogasol, oh my God, he can't do anything wrong. <laughs> These have been his game so far, this, this World Championship, World Cup. And then all Pogasol. Victor Clavier comes in to replace him. There's Gasol. Has a presence of mind to get both feet back in bounds and then throws the ball off of uh, Venezuela. And then he says, you know what, what can we do tonight? It's his night. Abrinez lets it go, quick release, it won't fall. And the smallest man in the trees, Jose Calderon, comes up with it. Well, Spain, with less than a minute to play, have really sent the message to the rest of the tournament. I think everyone looked at this game as if it was going to be a close contest. Brazil have got a very talented lineup here. Spain have been comfortable from start to finish. Well, they jumped out to that early lead and they just been in a comfort zone this entire game. Double digit lead throughout. A real uh, fiesta atmosphere here in the Palacio de Deportes in Granada. It's an off day for the players tomorrow. This is Victor Claver just come into the game saying, Coach, man, here. I didn't get in sooner. You can't say no to garbage time, though, can you? you cannot say no to garbage time, and he's playing behind Paul Gasol. And Mark Gasol. Machado. He goes two for three. Shows his skills. That went over Ibaka. The only one he missed was the one that was wide open. He's made two with people dressed all over him. Yes. She splits her and says, I'm going to come back out. Called her wrong. He's got such a pretty release. Great rotation. No good. Perfect form on his shot. Taylor uses Splitzer's screen. That is Yao still battling. That is Yao tries to score over Victor Claver. It's no good. Rodriguez with the rebound. Abrinez lets go. And it's off the mark. So game day three here in Granada, the third and final game is in the books. Spain with a comfortable lead and comfortable win over Brazil. They win going away by a score of 82 to 63.